assalamu alaikum students uh, today uh, the topic of our uh, discussion is uh, composition of uh, alveolar air its relation to atmospheric air uh, it is uh, the topic from a uh, third uh, chapter of respiration on uh, diffusion of uh, gases so we will move towards our topic so you can see here uh, uh, the alveolar air, alveolar air does not have the same concentration of uh, gases as uh, atmospheric air by any means which can readily be seen by comparing the alveolar air component composition um, uh, with the, that of atmospheric air because uh, uh, you can see here uh, the concentration of uh, alveolar air uh, is not as uh, uh, consistent or as constant like atmospheric air. There are actually four reasons behind uh, this. First, the alveolar air is only partially replaced by atmospheric air with each breath. Second, oxygen is uh, constantly being absorbed into the pulmonary blood from the alveolar air. So uh, the uh, oxygen moves um, consistently uh, from uh, the uh, vessels of uh, lungs or uh, pulmonary vessels into uh, from the alveolar air. So uh, uh, second point is this and uh, first is uh, this uh, that uh, uh, the alveolar air is only partially replaced by atmospheric air because um, uh, you have to breath uh, uh, several times to replace the alveolar air with atmospheric air. So, uh, and uh, the third point is that the carbon dioxide is uh, constantly diffusing from the pulmonary blood into the alveoli. Uh, it is uh, because you know that uh, the direction of carbon dioxide is opposite to that of oxygen. And uh, the fourth is uh, when uh, the dry uh, air, dry non-humidified or humidified air, you can see here the dry air that enters uh, the respiratory passages is uh, humidified even uh, before it reaches the alveoli. So uh, what occurs when uh, there is humidification of uh, the air when it reaches the alveoli? Actually when there is humidification uh, the air becomes diluted. Uh, I will uh, uh, discuss uh, in uh, uh, the next heading uh, this concept. Firstly, you can see here the difference between uh, uh, you can see the oxygen at in atmosphere 159 millimeter of mercury while in alveolar 104 millimeter of mercury. So the air moves from atmosphere to alveoli and uh, the atmospheric uh, air pressure of um, carbon dioxide is 0.3 while of alveolar air is 40 so air moves from alveoli to atmospheric air in the opposite direction to that of oxygen so after this what is the effect of humidification of air in the respiratory uh, passages So uh, when, uh, as you know, the uh, vapor pressure is uh, 47 millimeter of mercury uh, at uh, uh, 37 uh, Celsius, uh, uh, Celsius temperature, uh, and uh, when uh, uh, there is a humidification of air, the air is diluted and uh, the oxygen partial pressure at sea level from an average of 159 millimeter of mercury in atmosphere air to 149 millimeter of mercury in the humidified air and it dilutes the nitrogen partial pressure from 597 to 563 millimeter of mercury so when there is humidification there is increase in vapor pressure the uh, the air becomes diluted And uh, the rate at which uh, alveolar air is renewed uh, by the atmospheric air 
you can see uh, you have studied that uh, the functional residual capacity of lungs is uh, 2300 ml and yet only 350 ml of new air is brought into the alveoli with each normal inspiration and this uh, same amount of uh, old uh, uh, alveolar air is expired therefore the volume of alveolar air re replaced by new atmospheric air with each breath is only one seventh of uh, the total so that uh, multiple breaths are required to exchange most of the alveolar air so uh, you can see in uh, the diagram that uh, even after uh, 16 breaths you can see here even after 16 breaths mm -hmm. still uh, the air remains in the alveoli so at the end of uh, 16 breaths the excess uh, gas uh, <clears throat> still has not been completely uh, removed from the alveoli so uh, what is uh, the importance of uh, this uh, slow uh, replacement of alveolar air what is the importance The slow replacement of alveolar air is of particularly importance in preventing sudden changes in the gas uh, concentration in the blood. This makes the respiratory control mechanisms much more stable than it would be otherwise and it uh, helps prevent excessive increase and decrease in tissue oxygenation and tissue carbon dioxide concentration and tissue pH when respiration is temporarily interrupted. So uh, it, uh, uh, it allows uh, the slow replacement of alveolar air allows the respiratory control mechanisms to remain stable and uh, to prevent excessive uh, alteration in uh, uh, tissue oxygenation or tissue carbon dioxide concentration and the pH. So uh, the variation can be controlled due to slow replacement of alveolar air. And then is then is uh, the oxygen concentration and partial pressure in uh, the alveoli.